What are you gonna do now? Now? Good evening and welcome to another edition of Word on the Street. I'm your host, Derek Wright, and tonight it gives me extreme honor to introduce to you Latin and salsa greats, Hiram Cologne and Brisas Tropical. Did I roll my eyes right on that, man? All right. Thanks for coming, Pretty brother. Close. How you doing tonight, man? Oh, we're doing great. great. Really great to be here. Okay. Could you tell us a little bit about um, where your music comes from and how you would describe your music? Well, basically, uh, coming up and uh, being raised in the city, uh, particularly the Bronx, uh, we heard all kind of music, rhythm and blues, salsa music, Cuban music, all of the Latin music, all of the ethnic music, and it, uh, music has always been in, ringing in my ear since I was young. And uh, one step led to another, I got into music, into studying musical instruments, and uh, uh, someday I just, I just went along with whatever was going on currently at the time, picked up different instruments. By the time I got out of high school, I was playing uh, uh, saxophone, uh, and guitar actually, and I had I had played violin, and then uh, I got right into a salsa band as soon as I got out of high school, and it, it, I liked I loved it I loved the salsa music, but there was a lot of uh, drug epidemic going on at the time, right. and coming from a very strict environment at home, uh, I felt compelled to separate myself and try to keep my brain about me and uh, decided to opt to just go study music instead of just getting into the mainstream of just playing in bands. And that led me to the study of jazz. And uh, my father said, I gotta have a job. <laughs> Forget about music. You gotta have a job. All our father said that. So I had to tell him, okay, Dad, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach music. So that's what I did. I got into the teaching of music, and at the same time became a weekend warrior, doing gigs, uh, meeting musicians. I was able to meet a lot of quite a, quite a lot of musicians in the Latin scene, and uh, began my experience of playing uh, typically Latin music, which is a, a particular type of way and approach toward rhythm, you know, that's different from other types of music and American music. Again, I was picking up the American music, jazz, and I, along the way I met Danny, you know, long time ago. And long I used to rehearse ago. with Danny in the Bronx, and Eli too. Okay, I, so on that yeah. same vein, could you please tell the audience who you are, Mr. Guitar Man? My name is Bob Higgins. Bob Higgins, how long mm -hmm. you been with the group, Bob? Well, I'm probably the uh, newest member of the band. Yeah. Uh, I met Hiram and he asked me to sit in about 12 years ago and I never left. Wow. So they tried okay. to get rid of me, but I stayed. So. <laughs> He's still staying around, yeah. huh? Yeah. Okay. You're up next, brother. You're up next, huh? Yeah, my name is Eli Rivera and I've been with the band about what? 10 years, maybe? I met them at a diner one day when I was playing with a different band and uh, they were eating and uh, we just met and next thing you know, we ended up playing with them. So before um, being in a band, what did you do for a living, man? Get it out there. Get it out there, man. <laughs> I was a police officer in the city. My man. And uh, did it for 20 years, okay. and um, I'm retired now. And um, that's basically it, you know. So I've, I've, I've taken up music. I, I play bass, I play keyboards, and I, I do a lot of different things, you know. I have a big family, you know, nine kids. Wow. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of busy. Right. Kind of busy. Oh, we're very busy. busy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the young lady to your right. Yes. Hi. Hello. Um, I met Hiram in church. We were singing in a choir together. Wow. And um, he had uh, a wedding he was doing out on Long Island, and he had a female vocalist that couldn't do the job, so he recruited me, okay. and like Bob, 20 years ago, and I've never left. That's great. Sir? 
my name is Danny Del Valle, okay. and uh, I'm one of the, I guess, um, oldest members probably, right, in the, in the oh, band. Yeah. Um, it was weird, I bought a house in Garnerville, and lo and behold, around the corner, he was rehearsing. And I, I thought I wouldn't see him up in, in Rockland County because we used to hang out in the Bronx. So when I moved up there, the first thing I find is Hiram telling me, oh, well, why don't you come over here to rehearse? I tell him, but where are you rehearsing? He says, yeah, around ShopRite. You know, <laughs> remember we were rehearsing at, uh, what was his name, uh, that he used to play Guido? With the or, group. Or, or Ernie. Ernie, right, we used to rehearse in Ernie's house. Yeah, well, you know, I, I knew he had moved to Rockland, and I told him, Danny, if you ever move up to Rockland, man, we got to hook it up because, you know, we could do something up there. Because I'm pretty sure there's not too many Latin bands up there, yeah. and we could put a Latin band together. So lo and behold, I yeah, saw that him, was, boom. We that him was in 93, uh, 94. Yeah, yeah a, long time a long time ago. So you guys have been performing a lot in the Peak Skill area. I've seen you a couple of times. Yes, uh, Eli and Danny are like a tremendous free freelance artist. <laughs> okay. They play. You've seen them in in a lot of places playing. A lot playing. of bands. Mm -hmm. I used to do a lot bands. more of that, but when I focus on the the band, I just try to just keep it, just to just move this group and and develop like an original uh, identity and a sound. And of course, try to bring some uh, um, original material to the forefront, which is what we did tonight. A few, a few of those numbers were original numbers. Right, and you guys, um, I see the, a lot of Latin bands play a lot of covers, but you guys seem to play a lot more original music, and that's great. Yes, well, you know what it is, uh, like a musician, you could dedicate yourself to just playing, 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 and you're always playing somebody else's music. You right. Know? Now, if you got a heart, within you to express something, to express how you feel about the world the way it is now. Right. You know, and you somehow are able to come up with something and I gotta be thankful to God that he has blessed me with some ideas every once in a while and I've been channeled, it's been channeled through me as inspiration, I've been able to put it down and find great people like these guys here to express it along with me. Your destiny is calling For those who dream to find their hope and glory An open door for every man Diversity in motion America, you are that promise
Somos América. We are you. Somos América. We are you. Somos América. We are you. We Are You, that was a song that I was commissioned to write uh, from, from a, uh, an organization known as the Latino, uh, Latino Center for the Aging. Uh, and I was doing just work there. It's kind of like social work, and they always used to call me to play the piano. Very small operation. And then it was just developing and developing, and it developed the 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 CEO of that organization, a, a gentleman named Mario Tapia, he got involved with the arts and all of that, and, and he got an artist, a tremendous artist from Brazil, named Duda Penteado, and he, he drew a mural about America the way it is today. And that spawned the We Are You project, which this book is about. This book is just a new release is called We Are You Project, a poetry anthology, and it also uh, shows a lot of the artists that have done paintings and murals and stuff. And it also mentions us because I was contracted to, to write the, the original song off a poem and a painting by Duda Penteado, which is this painting right over here, okay. which is a very, very graphic, strong, a lot of modern art in this type of approach, and the, also the poetry uh, deals a lot with the immigration situation that we have in this country. So there's a very, very strong feeling behind uh, what we've been doing. This band has always been the, the representative in terms of when we have uh, annual awards dinners. We always, there every year, like for about 15 years, we've been doing this. And this is just a fresh book. Is There's gonna be a book signing of this book on this month, October the 27th, in a place called the New Yorican Cafe okay. in New York City. So you're invited to come there. And I'm gonna be there perhaps with somebody from here in this band to, to represent and do that song that we did a slightly different, but basically, uh, we are you in Spanish and English so that we can reach the vast majority of Americans and also reach the growing Latino a population that's really strong in this country right now. Okay. So what's next for you guys besides the uh, premiere that you're going to be at at the New York Rican? Uh, well, basically, I'm, I'm like, you know, just flowing with with feeling and ideas. So I've like, I had, I dug out stuff that I've been writing like for 20 years. And I gotta convince these guys first, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're hard, okay. they're hard lot okay. sometimes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Thank you.
gotta give thanks to, to Bob. Okay. Bob has been right there with me. He, he's we've hung together, recording and doing things together, and then you know we lay them there. But I do believe that there is a time for everything to happen, like just like this is happening today, and I believe that you know there's a there's a purpose in what we do, and it's very important that that without a purpose. The people die, you know. Without a without a vision, the people die, you know. There has to be a vision for this country, and I'm glad that we had the opportunity to touch in and and make a, a make a contact with people that are working artists, uh, writers like yourself. There's writers here, beautiful poems, okay. and uh, it's just expanding. You know, so we're talking about not just people in the United States. We're talking about artists from Brazil. We're talking about artists from Spain. We're talking about people from other countries, even not even Latino countries. They have their expression in this in this book. So I feel that as long as you put your 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 feeling ahead of yourself in terms of what you think is right in terms of the arts, in terms of expression, in terms of what you say, in terms of what you give your time to, what you give your money to. I think it's up to us well, that we've lived through this. This group right here, like we're not, we're not children. You know, we've been around the block a few times. These guys and Bob, he has a great background too. And uh, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that everything, you know, it means something. Happens my, for a reason. Yeah, my relationship with Bob, my relationship with Eli and and Danny and Giselle, of course, you know, it's been beautiful, not just with music, but it's been beautiful for all things. For weddings, you know, her weddings, her children getting married, Danny's daughters. So there's a family thing, his children growing, I know his children, beautiful. Um, a magnificent story right there. Just right there. <laughs> they could do just a story on him. Shy, right? <laughs> and, uh, his wife, he's got, a, he's got a beautiful <laughs> wife that has the feeling oh, of taking care of children. I mean, you know, how many people do that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Of course, D Danny's off the charts. An exemplary person. He's in, he doesn't say much right now, but I mean, he's a principal, assistant principals. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I was an assistant principal, and uh, now I'm a science teacher. I teach second, third, and fourth graders at uh, in the South Bronx uh, school called uh, Icon Charter School Two. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's a great experience for me because I taught for many years middle school. So then to make that transition from middle school, you know, to elementary school was a little bit rough in the beginning. Right. You know, but I've been there like nine years now, and I'm retired from the DOE. Oh, he brings yeah. me in every wow. once in a while to do some special music. Yeah, so I have, with right, I, I, I was able to get him uh, uh, a job working at the school, helping in the eighth grade graduations. So it's great because we combine, you know, the music plus the academics, and it's really a great mixture. Sounds like it. Sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, a lot of them schools got, you know, shot down a lot when it comes to the arts, as you know. You know, so, you know, we... You know, uh, Danny, myself, and others, you know, every time we get a chance to go to a school and bring some music, you know, and get the kids back on, on express, expressing themselves, writing, expressing themselves, singing, playing, just acting, just doing something other than academics because that is so important. So it's a shout out for music and arts in the schools. Mm -hmm. Well, Peekskill has a huge Latin population. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure any of these groups would love to have you guys perform. How could they reach you? Sure, they can call me in. They can call me. Uh, I'm sure you're going to show my, my, my website. Well, not my website, but my, my card and my email. What's your email address? Yes. My email is iramcolon, number four, at yahoo.com. Wow. Well, you guys have been a, a blessing. Um, my audience is, it, is in store for some real nice music. And, and trust me, we enjoy playing in peak skills. Thank you for having Because we've had several gigs Not a up problem, here. not a problem. It's really it was great. my, my it's pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Um, you can also see us on Facebook, and um, we have links on YouTube. Please tune in. 
and make sure you watch these guys because there's something to be seen. Hopefully we'll get together real soon. Thank you again for tuning in tonight. We're signing off from Word on the Street. Peace. Good night. Good night. Because
I can't go back to 